Scorpio, welcome to your July 15th through the 30th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going under the sea with the under the sea tarot and also the dolphin and mermaids uh, oracle. Uh, but I just want to let you know that you're definitely going to want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're notified because in August we're going to Wonderland and I'm super excited. I have it all planned out so you're definitely going to want to join me for now. This is going to be fun. Alright, so let's get started. What is the central theme of Scorpio's reading today? What is the central theme of Scorpio's reading today? One card for the central theme of Scorpio's reading today. One card for the central theme of Scorpio's reading. It's going to take two. Alright, so the first we have the waves of prosperity. New abundance and exciting opportunities watch over you now. And then we have worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So, Scorpio, you need to understand that you're worthy and you deserve good in all ways. And waves of prosperity. Okay, uh, three cards for Scorpio's internal world. Three cards for Scorpio's internal world. Three cards for Scorpio's internal world. Okay. So you're very emotional. This is a very emotional time. It's very, like, <laughs> it's emotional, but one is like, well, you'll see. we will get into it. Okay. So the first thing that we have is the Four of Shells. So the Four of Shells is the Four of Cups in the traditional Rider Way deck. Um, so this is apathy. You know, your friend, the dolphin, he's bringing you emotional abundance. And you're just like, you know, whatever. I don't really care. I want what I don't have. The grass is greener on the other side. Uh, you're being moody, depressed, um, reevaluating things. There could be a, a need for new friends, a new social scene here. And then we have the nine of shells, the nine of cups. So this is the wish card. Wishes are fulfilled. Uh, hosting a party, showing off. Pure, look at how happy she is. Isn't she happy? And she's just dancing with all of her, you know, emotional abundance. She's sitting there, she's dancing. So on one hand you're depressed and moody, on one hand you're emotionally, it's almost like cognitive dissonance. Like one hand, you're like, I don't know, I don't really like this. And then on the other hand, you're like, oh my god, look at my life, it's fantastic. So, so it's kind of like um, reversed almost, but it's still the same. It's still, you're still in the cups energy, you're still in your energy. Um, so you're happy and you're sad at the same time internally. But there's no conflict there. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So who is the Queen of Swords? The Queen of Swords is sometimes called the Ice Queen. Um, she is the boss. She's intelligent. She's honest, truthful. She has a sharp tongue. Uh, she's a problem solver. She's an organizer. She takes feelings into consideration when making decisions. She's fair in the situation. She's upfront in her dealings with others. She faces the truth no matter how painful it is. She keeps a clear head. She finds humor. She's free. She's single. She's independent. She tells you as she sees it. Sometimes she can be called a bitch because of that. She's sharp, slick, savvy, sophisticated. She has no time for lies. She's forthright and direct. She's upfront. Even if the truth is painful, she believes in constructive criticism. So that's how you feel internally. That's your internal world. So let's see externally. What's going on in Scorpio's family and home life? What's 
going on in Scorpio's family and home? Three cards for Scorpio's family and home. So the first card we have is the Empress, beauty, um, a time for birth, beauty, a time for birth, an incubation period to grow something beautiful, kind of like a pregnancy. You have an incubation period. Two more cards. Two more cards for Scorpio's family at home, life, please. Two more cards for Scorpio's family at home, life, please. Right, so I have the star. The star is beautiful. This is Aquarius energy. Um, so this is relief from struggle. It's a time to heal. It's a time to heal. Liberation. Freedom. Those are two major life events. When we have, I either, I, you see the Empress is either Taurus or Virgo, and the star is Aquarius. So we have Earth and Air energy, and those don't get along. Those, those conflict each other. So there's conflict in your home, your home life. But it's still beautiful, and it's a time to heal. It's a beautiful time to heal. One more card for you. All right, so I have the King of Cups, or the King of Shells in this deck. So he's emotionally mature. He's deep wisdom. He's calm. He's caring. He gives people good advice. He provides a shoulder to cry on. He's Pisces energy. He follows his hunches. He's a natural healer. He develops his psychic abilities. He's a ladies man. He's affectionate. He's a counselor. He's a guru. He's a psychiatrist. So what's going on? What's going on in Scorpio's money? What's going on with Scorpio's money? Three cards for Scorpio's body. Right, the sun reversed, another major life event. The Queen of Cups. Oh, so we have the King and Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. Cool, the Queens are coming out. And then I have the Cups, um, the Six of Cups reversed. And then I drop some cards. Versus, there's worry here. Worried about the future. Um, there's doubts. There's negativity. So financially, you're worried, but you shouldn't be because we have the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups nurtures. That's what she does. She's in the upright. She nurtures. So she's nurturing your finances. Very emotional. So you could be getting your money in a very emotional way. Um, your income could be coming in uh, from something emotional or psychic. She's highly psychic. She's cancer energy. But you can't let go of the past. That, that's the issue here. You can't let go of the past. To allow prosperity to come in. You don't feel worthy enough to allow prosperity to come in. You can't let go of the past. The past is for you. And you're worried, but you shouldn't be because the Queen of Cups brings it in for you. She is prosperity. Uh, that and the Queen of Starfish. So who are queens? Queens are influential. They're mature. They're they have a deep. They're deeply self-aware and they're caretakers. Three random advice cards for Scorpio. 
Okay, I have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. It's a time of self-reflection. Two more. Flying all over the place, aren't they? <laughs> Okay. Uh, so this was the page of starfish. Uh, this is money coming in. All right, so the first we have the hermit. This is a period of self-reflection and isolation. Taking time to meditate, taking time to go to a retreat, to take care of yourself, to get to know yourself. And then we have the page of starfish, which is also the page of pentacles. So this is news of money, loan applications being approved, um, solid grounded financial stars, setting up a logical working plan. And I have the seven of swords in the reverse. So this is um, challenges, breaking bad habits. So you need to break bad habits, but money is coming in and you need time to yourself to meditate, to reflect. So what's going on in Scorpio's social and romantic life? What is going on in Scorpio's social and romantic life? Three cards for Scorpio's social and romantic life. Three cards for Scorpio, social and romantic life. Okay, so your energy came up first. Why am I blurry? There we go. <clears throat> Alright, you need to let go of something. We have the death card. This is your energy. This is Scorpio energy. This is releasing the old to allow new to come in. This is cutting off the dead weight, letting go of the past, moving on to the future. We have the magician reversed. So this is um, a lack of self-discipline, being unskilled being delusional. There could be a liar, a thief, or a bully in your midst. So beware of that. You need to cut cut somebody like that out of your life. It'll lead to heartbreak. Loss. Deep sadness. Trauma. Hurtful words. There's a need to communicate here. There could be a love triangle. The magician is Virgo. Or Gemini. Libra. I have Libra, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio here. There's a lot of conflict here. I see a lot of like theft, betrayal, lies, deceit. All right, in terms of your career, we have the Queen of Rods. No, that's the Page of Rods, I'm sorry. Page of Rods. The Ace of Swords. The Six of um, Starfish, reversed. So, in your career, we have beginning an entrepreneurship, starting your own business, being your own boss, Embarking on a new career, traveling, breakthroughs in the situation, new plans, new ideas, clarity of thought, a new outlook on life, a new mindset.
but there could be some debt, selfishness, one-sided charity here. This Taurus energy. Scorpio, thank you for joining me today for your July 15th through the 30th tarot reading. Um, have a wonderful day.